I feel like I'm locked up in this cage and I can't get out. In the daytime, I'm just like a zombie because I'm so tired and want to go to sleep, but I can't sleep. It was just a ticking, tick, 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 that I could feel inside but could not see. It couldn't be Parkinson's. It couldn't be that, could it? I don't share that I have the disease. I don't want to be the Parkinson's guy. <laughs> you know, I, I want to be Gary. Um, if for all the good and all the bad that is, I want to be Gary. Anthony, what do you want for dinner? We got chicken. You want potatoes or rice? I'll have some chicken and rice. Gary Dukes is one of more than six million men and women worldwide who live with Parkinson's disease. But you have to spend a lot of time with him to spot it. There's nothing he can't do and he's always been that way. So when he was diagnosed, I wasn't as fearful or afraid. Um, I was more concerned about how he would feel about it. I was working uh, at the uh, local internet uh, telephone company and uh, noticed that uh, my hands were starting to shake a little bit. I thought something's wrong, so usually, I mean, at the time, I, I usually would just put my hand on his. I stopped drinking caffeine. Um, I stopped, uh, you know, I, I stopped uh, uh, working out for a while um, because we thought maybe it was, it was soreness of muscles or something. And um, it turned out that they thought it was Parkinson's. At first, it was devastating. Um, I didn't know anything about the disease at all. I, I actually sat in my car for the first time in my life and just pulled my eyes out. Things come running through your mind about, um, gee, does this mean my kids are going to get it? Am I going to be able to support my family? You know, um, you know, what happens next? I thought I was a death sentence because I knew, I knew nothing about it. The uncertainty sends many patients spiraling into depression. What I feel the biggest challenge is in Parkinson's is still awareness and education. Most people don't know what Parkinson's disease is, and if there's any image in their mind, it is that of an invalid or that of somebody who does not, who cannot lead a mean, meaningful life. The average age of diagnosis of Parkinson's is 62, and it affects men and women of every race and culture worldwide. Four percent of patients are diagnosed in young adulthood. For NBA power forward Brian Grant, the mobility problems couldn't have come at a worse time. My identity uh, at the height of my career in the NBA was that he was a very hard worker. He's a tenacious defender and, and a heck of a rebounder. The shy kid from Ohio who was told he would never make it to the pros developed a 15-foot jump shot. That led to a first round draft pick by the Sacramento Kings and stellar seasons with the Trailblazers, Heat, Lakers, and Suns. It was rewarding. It was kind of like, you know, forget you. I can't, you know, I can do this. But around 2004, something changed. I can remember telling someone in Miami and also in LA when I was in LA. You know, I can't jump off my left leg as well as I used to be able to. It's like, it feels awkward. And they looked at me and said, you know, you got 11 years in the league, man. You know, <laughs> you're getting old, that's what it is. Recently, Brian Grant returned to Sacramento to share how he became overwhelmed after retiring from the NBA following a series of injuries. After I uh, retired, I went into a, a deep state of depression. After eight months of battling that, I, I came out of it with tremors in my hand. And it wasn't until 2008 that I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's. And um, wow, boy, that's that's uh, it was that's a, a lot to handle, isn't it? It was a lineup, you know, tough, tough three or four years. At the time of diagnosis, there's two different types of depression. There's the reactionary depression that someone gets simply from being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, and they get very emotional because of it. The second type of depression can result from the disease itself, 
a hidden symptom of the changes going on in the brain. Many times a depression and anxiety can precede the motor diagnosis by years. And of course, it's much easier to tell in hindsight. What I want the patient to understand the most is that this condition is not necessarily going to change their lifespan, but they now have this shadow, and that shadow is Parkinson's disease. As long as they understand that shadow, they can live beside it.